It's the strangest story I have ever heard Take a seat, grab a drink and listen to my words This is Cars from Gamer Guys and Gals, and this is a review for Warlock's Tower. The point of this game is to get to the door, and you only have three steps, but if you pick up coins, uh, you get more steps. There's also, there's three step coins, and there's five step coins. There's NPC, and there's tons of traps and stuff to get in your way. Like you see here, I'll take three steps, grab a three step coin, so I get three more. And that is just to get to the door before you run out of steps or you'll die. There's um, over a hundred levels. I want to say there's six different stages. Uh, and each stage has two levels. Right here you see I die, run out of steps. But you also have to pick up keys. There'll also be like zombies in the way. There'll be these little blobs that um, were like slimes that'll kill you if you step where they've been or if they jump on you. There's uh, also uh, like bonus levels if you after you beat so many levels you can unlock them and then you can go there and do some bonus levels. So there's tons of gameplay. Uh, the achievements are pretty easy they're just for beating each of the levels and uh, finding all the NPCs and beating the game. If you do this with a walkthrough, you could do this in probably 10 minutes. If you're an achievement hunter and you just want to quick points, I found a really good walkthrough on YouTube. Um, the guy's name is iBad Driver. And uh, if you're just looking for achievements, check out his and you can get it in 10 minutes. It gives you like uh, just the directions, you don't even have to look at the screen, like up, down, left, right. But there's also levels right there, like you have to play in the dark. He even gives you a uh, walkthrough how to get the NPCs that are hidden. Right here is an example of the slimes. And, uh... There's, oh yeah, I forgot about these. There's pots that you have to push, and there's some parts where you have to push them to be on top of buttons. But I'm going to give this game an 8.3 out of 10. It's a blast. Uh, it's one of the best puzzlers, puzzlers I've played in a while. It's one of Red Alaka's better games. I had, I had a good time playing it. So 8.3 out of 10. And as always, follow us on uh, Gamer Guys and Gals on Facebook. And uh, enjoy the rest of this gameplay.